Hi guys, just a fair warning, um, I probably am going to be talking a little bit funny in this video because I have some metal in my mouth. I am starting my braces treatment. So, yeah, my lisp has still not gone away. So, if I can't pronounce some words, that's what it is. Um, but anyways, I'm going to be doing this tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right here. Um, I was inspired by this ugly dress that I saw at the store. But the colors were really bright and summery, so that's why I wanted to do something like that. It wasn't just like, you know, the basic, like, neutrals. Well, I guess it's still kind of neutral, but it still has the pop of color and the pink. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. If you guys want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. Okay, so I have two little friends right here. If someone has any remedies, because every single thing that I've tried, it is not working. And excuse my hair. Um... Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to start off by um, priming my eyelids with my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And I'm going to just use my fingers and apply that everywhere I'm going to be applying eyeshadow. I'm going to take my Sigma E60 brush and I'm going to take my Lorac Pro 2 palette. I'm going to take the shade Buff right here. And I'm going to apply that everywhere just to set that paint pot. Okay, so now I'm using my Soya Kashuk Blending Brush in number 109 and Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie. I'm gonna use this and apply that all in my crease area. Just so that way later it will be a lot easier for blending. Now going in with MAC Always Sunny, I'm gonna take that on that same brush and I'm also gonna apply that in my crease area. Okay, so now going in with the Anastasia Contour Color in the shade Java, E25 that looks like this. Oh my god, my hair. And I'm going to just apply that to the outer corner of my eyes. I think I want to go a little bit darker, so... I'm going to go into my dresser face palette from Anastasia and I'm going to take the color chocolate right here and I'm going to use the same E25 and I'm going to apply that on the very outer corner. And then go back in with my Sonia Kashuk brush and blend that part out with no extra product. Okay, so now that I'm done with like the crease and everything, I'm gonna go in with this Sonia Kashuk shading brush and I'm gonna go in back to this Dress Your Face palette and I'm gonna take this color right here called Fresh. And I'm gonna apply that all over my lid. A clean blending brush. I'm gonna take the Sigma E40 and I'm gonna just blend that out. So now I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Um, I'm gonna be using this NYX brow pencil, this micro brow pencil, and I'm gonna be using it to fill it in. Everyone's been saying that it's um like the Anastasia brow is, so I tried it out and it's actually pretty good. And I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face using my Smashbox primer water. Since I have these little friends right here, I'm going to cover it up just a little bit with some green concealer just so it can try and cover most of the redness it kind of gives off. And I'm going to pat it out with my finger. My Makeup Geek Stippling Foundation Brush, and I want to use a brush for this, not a beauty blender, because it's already really dewy. i use this, and I'm going to do it in stippling motions. With my foundation done, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my under eye concealer, well, concealing and highlighting. I'm going to use my Maybelline Age Rewind 
concealer in the shade Neutralizer. And I'm going to mix it with this Maybelline Fit Me um, 20 Sand Sable. I'm mixing it because I don't want it to be too bright. I feel like the Adrian wine is just a little too white. And to blend it out, I'm going to be using my Damp Beauty Blender. Set my concealer. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Banana Powder right here. It's a generic, like, angled brush that I'm using. It's really fluffy. And I'm going to go in with my um, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and I'm going to just start bronzing my face. Now going in with my Sonia Kashuk, some like crease brush or something, number 116, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia contour color in the shade Bon, and I'm going to use that to contour my nose. Take some of that banana powder on my finger. And I'm going to place that right down the bridge with my nose. Okay, so now that I'm... Actually, do I want a contour? Do I want a contour? I want a contour. Okay. So using my Kat Von D brush, I'm going to go in with the shade... What was the one that I just used? Fawn. Again, the one that I used to contour my nose. And I'm going to lightly contour. Take my e.l.f. blush brush and my Milani Luminoso blush. And apply it to my cheeks. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back to the eyes and I'm going to use, let's see what we got. I think I'm going to use this shade and this shade mixed together. So it's going to be Java and Fawn and I'm going to take this little brush right here. It's really tiny. I'm going to mix it and apply it to my lower lash line. And I'm going to take the color Walk of Shame, which is this color right here. I'm going to apply that to my brow bone, just to kind of highlight. So I'm going to go into the Dress Your Face palette again and use the color Benezia. I don't know, it's this blue shade right here. I'm going to use that one first. I don't know if I want to use my finger. And I'm going to apply that to my inner corner, inner tear duct area. And I'm going to take the green, green shade from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm going to use that also. I'm going to go back in with that first shade to lighten it. I'm going to line my upper lash line with some liner. I'm not going to really um, make a wing or anything just to hide the lash band. I'm going to apply some mascara using these two. Um, the Rimmel Lash Accelerator and the L'Oreal Telescopic. I'm going to go ahead and apply some lashes. I'm going to be using the House of Lashes Temptress Eyelashes.
And I'm going to take the color Noir from my Dress Your Face palette right here. Just any black shadow will work. And I'm going to use that to kind of hide the lash band. I forgot to put my highlight on, so I'm going to go back and do that. I'm going to be using my ColourPop highlighter in Smoke and Whistles. Just like this. I'm going to apply it with my finger. Exfoliate my lips using the Lush Mint You Lips Lip Scrub just to exfoliate them so the lipstick doesn't look, you know, gross. For my lips, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Party Pink Liquid Lipstick. And I'm not going to line my lips because these don't need a lip liner, so... this look, I'm going to spray my face with some Fix Plus. Alright, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below what suggestions that you have. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! True Match Lumi with my Makeup Geek Makeup Geek Oh my god, there is a huge spider right there I thought that spider was outside, but it is definitely inside Like, you know how there's like a screen door And then like, say there's like a sliding door And then there's a screen sliding door It is in between the glass and the screen So it's inside, it could crawl through that hole right there Let's just hope it doesn't Look at how big that spider is.